In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the OKX app and show you how to buy crypto on OKX. I'll also go through important security settings, through the fees and deposit methods and all of the main features of the OKX app. If you want to know how to use the OKX website, then that will not be in this video, but I do have another video covering that, which I will put in the description below. So firstly, you want to download the app from the Google Play Store or iOS Store. Then you want to open the app and you'll be asked to sign up or log in. If you don't already have an account, then I have an affiliate link in the description, which depending on when you watch this video, we both may get a mystery box. So it's worth checking out and I will be forever thankful for it as it massively helps support this channel. Now, once you've created an account, you will need to supply KYC information, which is pretty common across most crypto exchanges nowadays. KYC is know your customer and is to prove you are not a career criminal. And so when verifying your account, you'll have to supply a photo of your ID and take a selfie. Once you've set up an account, I highly recommend setting up MFA to verify it's you through your phone when logging in. This can be done by clicking the button in the top left with nine dots on it. Then you want to click on your account name, then go to security. Then under security center, you can set up multi-factor authentication using a phone or authenticator app. I personally recommend using Google Authenticator, which you can get on the app store as a separate app. Authenticator apps are more secure than using a phone number as they prevent against SIM swapping, which I'm not gonna go into in this video. Also in this section, you can check which devices are logged into your account. And if there's any you don't recognize, you can change your password and it will log all devices out. Also in this area, you can set up an app lock and anti-phishing codes for OKX emails. So anyway, going back to the main home screen, you'll notice at the top of the screen, there is exchange and wallet. And today we will be focusing on the exchange tab. The wallet tab is for OKX's Web3 wallet, which can be used for NFTs, DeFi and dApps. In the middle, we have your overall estimated total balance. If you click the graph to the right, it will expand it and you can see how your balance has changed over time by clicking on the timeframes along the bottom. Underneath, you've got the option to deposit or buy and these can often be accessed from other places around the app. So I will go into these shortly. Below this, we have varying lists of cryptos. So we have favorites and you can see I have the BTC USDT pair and you can add cryptos here you are interested in so you can track the price action of that crypto. To the right of this, we have top cryptos, hot cryptos, gainers and new. And below this again, we have announcements from OKX. Now to trade on OKX, you will need to have crypto on the platform. Firstly, we will look at buying. So for those who don't already have any crypto, you can buy some within the app. So if you press buy, you have two options here, P2P trading and buy crypto. We are going to pick the bottom one for ease today, and I won't be going into P2P trading. P2P trading allows you to buy crypto from other users. Now at the top, you want to make sure it's on buy. We will look at sell later. To the right of this, you can pick your currency you plan to buy with. As I'm in the UK, I will be picking GBP. Then you can choose the crypto you want to buy. And for this tutorial, I will be buying USDT, but you can buy whatever you find on this list. Once you pick your crypto, you can enter the amount you want to buy with a minimum of 13 pounds but this will vary by your currency. Alternatively, by pressing the button to the left, you can enter a USDT amount instead. Or alternatively to this, you can pick one of the predefined monetary amounts. I'm going to key in 20 pounds and below this, it shows an approximate amount. Next, I'm going to hit select payment method and I'm going to use Alchemy Pay as I've already set up my bank card on the OKX site. But if you want, you can also pick OKX P2P where you will be purchasing from verified merchants with no fee. Unfortunately, payment methods will vary by your currency. So you will have to see what turns up here. But after clicking Alchemy Pay, you can see how much USDT I'm going to get for my 20 pounds. So I'm going to press buy USDT and you can now see the USDT on the homepage balance. If you already hold crypto elsewhere, instead of buying crypto, you can deposit it and send it to OKX. To do this, press the deposit button on the homepage, then find the crypto you want to send to OKX. And in this example, I will be showing you USDT. You will then need to pick the correct network you want to send your crypto over. 
Some cryptos have multiple networks and it's essential to pick the correct network that you are sending from because if you pick the incorrect one, you risk losing your funds. I'm going to pick the ERC20 network. And now you can see my wallet address, which can be copied by selecting the two squares icon to the right, or you can scan the QR code with a mobile device. I always copy the address rather than typing it manually as there is a good chance you may mistype something. You can also share these details by pressing the share deposit details button at the bottom. So now you have your wallet address, you would head over to the platform you are sending your crypto from and paste this address in the to field when you're withdrawing. Now that you've either purchased or deposited crypto on OKX, you can start trading. Firstly, I'm going to show you the easy way to convert your crypto, then I will follow on with proper trading. So to do this the easy way, select assets from the bottom right of the screen, on OKX, you have two accounts, a funding account and a trading account. Depending on where your crypto is, you may need to transfer it between one or the other. To move your crypto between your trading and funding account, you need to press the assets button at the bottom, then press transfer. And here you can flip between funding and trading. Currently my Bitcoin is in my funding account, so I'll pick Bitcoin and then I'm gonna say max, and then I'm gonna confirm that and my crypto has now gone to my trading account. So if you want to convert one of your coins to another, then firstly pick assets from the bottom of the screen and then press trading or funding at the top depending on which account your crypto is in. From here you can press convert and at the top you will pick the crypto you have and below this you will pick the crypto you want. You can then key in an amount or press max. You can then press convert to convert this and you will see the crypto in the assets tab on the right. Alternatively, you can trade your crypto by pressing the trade button in the middle at the bottom. So this is already set to trade the BTC USDT pair. If you wanted to change this to another pair, you would click the label at the top left and then you can pick the crypto pair you want to trade. In the top right, we have a button taking us to the current chart for this crypto, which you can change the time frame on and see the order book and a whole host of other information about this crypto. If we go back to the main trading page, you can also see the order book on the right and to the left of this is where we will place our trade. So we firstly want to press buy at the top. I'm going to show you the two main order types, market and limit, the rest I will save for another video. So the easiest way to buy or sell crypto here is with a market order, which will buy or sell at the current market price. So you would first select market, then you can key an amount in USDT or drag along the slider to pick a percentage amount of your available balance. So I'm gonna say buy 10 USDT worth of Bitcoin. The fees you get charged will be based on the order type you place. With a market order, you are considered a taker of the market as you're taking the current market price. Fees will also decrease when you hold their own OKB token and trade in larger volumes. So for this order, I'm getting charged 0.1% as a taker. You can then go and click buy BTC. The button label also indicates that you have the pairing the right way around. Once you click buy BTC, the order will process immediately and will now show under your order history and also appear under your assets tab. You can also see this in the sell tab where we now have Bitcoin. And if you want to sell this back to USDT, you could do this here exactly the same as we did before. So now I'm gonna sell my BTC and you can see I now have USDT again. Alternatively to a market order, you could use a limit order that lets you specify the price you want to buy your crypto at. For example, say you look at the chart and you can see Bitcoin was recently at 43,000-ish. So you can dictate that you want to pay 43,000 with a limit order. And if the crypto goes to this price, then the order will be processed. And by placing an order above or below the current market price, you are deemed a maker of the market and therefore you pay less in fees. And in this case, I would pay 0.08%. So to place a limit order, we would first click limit then type in my limit price in the price box. Then I would key in how much I want to buy in either the BTC box or the USDT box, or I could slide the percentage slider again. Once you're happy, you can then go ahead and press buy BTC. It's worth noting that if the price of your limit order is not reached, then the order will not process, but it will hold your money in the meantime. You can see this in your open orders tab down the bottom. And from here, you can cancel the order if for any reason you no longer want this trade to process. Once your order is filled, you will see this under your assets tab. Next, if you want to withdraw your crypto to say another exchange or hardware wallet, you will need to withdraw it. From the assets screen, 
press the withdraw button. You then have two options for your withdrawal. On chain, which is to a wallet or exchange, or internally to another OKX user. I'm going to pick on chain, then copy your address you are sending to and paste it here. And then you need to pick the network, making sure it's the same as the address you are sending to, then enter an amount, and then you will see the network fee and amount you will receive at the other end. And then you can submit your withdrawal but for the sake of this demo, I'm not going to do this as I want to keep my crypto on OKX. To sell crypto on the OKX app, you need to go to buy on the home screen, which is very illogical, but I didn't write this app. Um, then you want to go buy crypto again. And from here at the top, we have buy and sell. So you want to press on sell. You also need to make sure your crypto is in your funding account. So you may need to transfer that also. From here, I'm going to also pick that I want this to go to GBP in the top right. And then I'm gonna pick my USDT here. And then I'm gonna key in 45. And then I'm gonna click select receiving method. And then this list may vary depending on the currencies you have, but I'm gonna pick bank transfer. And then again, you can see how much I'm gonna receive in GBP. And then you can press sell USDT when you're happy with that. So in addition to spot trading, OKX has loads of funky features like trading, bots, and copy trading. And I'm going to record videos on these very soon. So I recommend you subscribe so you don't miss out on these and all the other great content I release. And if you got any value from this video, then don't forget to give it a like. And also if you're new to crypto, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.